guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and RichPicksDaily.com. And we have a new pick for you today, Outback Goldfields. That's right, Outback Goldfields, O-Z or O-Z in Canada, O-Z-B-K-F in America. Put on your watch list, put on your radar. We think it has a chance to be a big winner. And let's find out why. All right, here we go. I'm going to share my screen with you guys here, and we're going to break it down right now. So first and foremost, I want to look at their Twitter page. This is them on Twitter. We are following them on Twitter. You can hit the bell for notifications so you can follow them too. And you can see they're also listed in Frankfurt, Germany, under the symbol S600. So listed in Canada, the United States, and Frankfurt, Germany, exploring for high-grade gold at Fosterville. So you can see here, Outback Goldfields news just came out on October 26. Outback updates shareholders on exploration activities at Young Ruin and reports final results from drill holes at Glenfine. So you can see this quick little video here. Talks a little bit about Outback Goldfields. Let's just go to the beginning here. This is a shareholder update that was done on October 26th. And you can find all this information right on their Twitter page. This is the CEO, Chris Donaldson, who we've interviewed. Stay tuned to the interview on Rich TV Live. All right, so that's a shareholder update. Now you can also scroll down and see some of the other tweets that have been done. Here you can see on October 29th, a new interview with Chris Donaldson, the CEO. Once again, talking about, and guys, it's always good to you know like these videos, retweet them so that they get as much visibility as humanly possible. Okay, and you can see here, Chris Donaldson says, boom, the gold rush continues. New neighbors for our Outback Silver Spoon Tenement North Central Victorian Goldfields ground release. So you can see all of this on their Twitter page. And this is what we do here is we really like to understand and identify all the news and understand the fundamentals of each and every company that we talk about and interview here on Rich TV Live. You can see here on October 27th, Outback Goldfields provides an update on yesterday on two of Four assets in the Victorian Goldfields zone. Outback Goldfields update shareholders on its Young Rune and Glenfine projects in Australia. So lots of news and information on Twitter. You can also go and look at their chart. And we love to understand the chart. So this is the one of the things that caught my attention. We're talking about a stock that was at 150. Okay. 150 in December of last year came all the way down to this ridiculously low zone, which we felt was the buy zone around 21 cents. We alerted our members around 21 cents. It made this nice little move out of the buy zone on Friday and it's continued higher now up 5% today at 28 and a half cents in Canada and definitely in a buy zone. And in America, OZBKF currently at 23 cents and up 21%. So you can see it's clearly making a move here right now as more and more investors are starting to learn about this opportunity. Now, what we want to do is we want to go through their website. The website is outbackgoldfields.com where you can learn everything about the company and you can follow them on all social media. So you can see here that they are on Facebook. You can follow them on Facebook and I'll do that right now as well. Okay, I'm already liking and following them, them here on Facebook. And you can see they're on Twitter. They are on YouTube. Let's go follow them on YouTube. And you guys can follow them as well. Here we go. Only 19 subscribers, now 20 subscribers. We are their 20th subscriber. And let's go follow them on LinkedIn, where we are also situated so that we can follow all of their news and updates. So now we're following them on all social media. There we go. So anytime they have any big breaking news, we will know first. Now on their website, you can go to home, corporate, 
find out everything you want to learn about the company under home, corporate. You can learn about Outback Goldfields, learn about their leadership team, technical team, corporate information, corporate governance. You can learn about ESG. We'll go through that. Learn about their projects. Here are all of their major projects of focus. You can find investor information, which we will go through right now, all their updated news and contact information, okay? Now, what I wanted to do is I want to go through the presentation here because I think that this is extremely important. So let's just go through their corporate presentation. All right. So exploring high-grade gold at Fosterville. And we also have been working closely with Fosterville South Exploration. So we're very familiar with that zone in that region in Australia. So what are the investment highlights for Outback Gold? Four strategic properties in prolific gold district, large land package in a jurisdiction that has produced over 80 million ounces of gold historically. Assets located pri proximity of Kirkland Lake Gold's Fosterville Mine. Obviously, Kirkland Lake Gold has been a huge success. High-grade, low-cost mining district, experienced board and management team with a track record of creating shareholder value, following a path of previous success, attractive entry point in high-value potential assets, and focused work program with near-term catalysts. After speaking to the CEO, I was very impressed. His name is Chris Donaldson. You can see here, experienced executive with 25 years of focus on capital markets, government, and community relationships, formerly a director of corporate development with Western Copper and Gold, TSX, and New York Stock Exchange, American listed company. You can see all of the different members associated to the team. And their technical team leaders continues. So we really like to understand the capital structure and the revenues and cash on hand. We're going to talk about that. But what I really like about this, 58,370,530 shares issued and outstanding. Warrants priced at $1.50. Right now we're under 30 cents. So long ways to go for the warrants. 10,256,150 warrants. 5,695,000 options, fully diluted. We're talking about a stock that has 74,321,680 shares. When they did this presentation, the share price is at 33 cents. We're currently even under that price with a market cap of only 19 million. It's actually lower than that because of the fact that the share price is lower. Cash on hand. $8.5 million of cash on hand. So we're talking about a stock that has cash on hand, a tight share structure that's drilling and has the potential, we believe, to go much higher with money in the bank. We believe that they're undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Put them on your watch list. Put them on your radar. You can see the symbol right here or symbols. 67% of the shares are held by retail. 24% by institutions, and 9% held by management and insiders. So you can see all the jurisdictions that they are focused on, year-round drilling, mining friendly strong traditional owner relationships, clear permitting system, and access to workers despite COVID-19. So everything is falling in place. This is the Victoria has produced over 80 million ounces of gold. You can see how they've produced gold over the years. And this is the Fosterville mine. And you can see the Kirkland Lakes Fosterville has placed the district back on the global map thanks to Bonanza, Bonanza gold grades and ultra low production costs. You can see the four key assets in highly prospective Fosterville gold district. The Bandingo historic production, 22 million ounces of gold produced from reef mines. Castle Maine historic production, 1 million ounces of gold produced from reef mines, 4.6 million ounces of gold produced from alluvial. And Clunes historic production, 1.3 million ounces production from reef mines. And Ballarat historic production, 
1.6 million ounces of 9.0 grams a ton gold produced from reef mines, 11.6 million ounces gold produced from alluvial. You can see here with all the arrows pointing to all the areas of focus, Fosterville Kirkland Lake gold, 2.1 million ounces of gold at 21.8 grams a ton gold and 2.1 million ounces of gold at 5.3 grams a ton gold. And you can see Costerfield, Mandalay Resources, 0.35 million ounces of gold at 9.6 grams a ton. You can see the Glenfine Project, 4,000 meter drill program underway, targeting high grade gold mineralization at two priority targets an advanced 96 kilometer exploration project with documented Ballarat style reef gold and Stawell style basalt contact gold mineralization. Property centered on a 20 kilometer trend of highly prospective yet underexplored geology with numerous documented reef hosted gold occurrences. For example, Glenfine and British Banner. You can see the circled areas of focus. And you can see selected drill intercepts from the British banner prospect on your right hand side. The Glenfine South initial results. You can see the highlights of the first three drill holes. Drilling tested for mineralization continuity along strike between the Glenfine South mine and the Reef 2 targets. Now, I just want to remind you guys that we told our community about this when they were 21 cents. They're now at 28. Investors are starting to position themselves. They clearly believe that this is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. I must remind you guys that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. In saying that, we do believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. It's got the right share structure. It's got money in the bank. They are drilling and the price is right. They're listed in Canada, the United States, and in Frankfurt, Germany. So literally our entire community from all over the world can make money with this pick. So I'd love to know what you guys think of this video. Comment on the video and let me know, is this a pick for you? So you can see initial results from Reef2 demonstrated strong continuity of vein hosted gold mineralization over 100 meters down dip in reef two. And you can see 17.3 meters at 2.66 grams a ton gold, including 1.30 meters at 10.65 grams a ton gold and 0 0.8 meters at 9.31 grams a ton gold. And visible gold was observed in OGA 0005 at 148.5 meters down hole. 5.1 meters at 2.90 grams a ton gold, including 0 0.3 meters at 15.02 grams of gold. So you can see that these guys are on the verge of some potentially huge discoveries. You can see the Young Ruin property covers a prospective belt of Stawell and Bendingo zone rock separated by the north trending Avoca Fault and associated place. West side is centered on 30 kilometers northwest, trending golden jacket fault, host to local high grade gold mineralization. High grade mineralization, 250 grams a ton gold, previously mined at the golden jacket mine, remains open in all directions. This is very, very positive findings. Numerous open ended north trending arsenic in soil. Anomalies at Westerburn East Side are untested and represent priority targets. Property expanded by recent license application, strategically located along perspective of Oka Fault. All right, so you can see here the Young Rune Phase One program. You can see the priority areas for upcoming RAB drilling. You can see diamond drilling is currently in progress. Soil and rock geochemical sampling is also in progress. 
This is a property scale, highly resolution airborne magnetic survey has been flown and a full interpretation has been completed. 85 kilometers LIDAR survey over the water burn area has been completed and data is guiding rock and soil sampling. Soil and rock geochemical surveys at Waterburn are ongoing, expanding her historic grids. Diamond drill program at Golden Jacket is also underway, designed to test high-grade gold mineralization continuity below and along strike from historic underground workings. And large rotary air blast RAB program is set, commence in early September, so it's obviously already started. East-West traverses are designed to test the bedrock associated with geophysical targets below post-mineralization cover rocks. And the Ballarat West, I mean, guys, look at all these areas that they're focused on. I mean, this is quite something happening right now. 45,000 hectare project adjacent to major gold fields, Ballarat, Clunes, and Creswick with historic gold production totaling 17.3 million ounces of gold. Widespread deep lead mines covering most of the tenement suggest potential for local reef hosted gold mineralization, local reef occurrences, for example, Mitchells and Grassies, where Ordovician rocks are exposed through widespread cover. Targets have not seen any modern exploration. Prospecting and soil grids across areas of known prospective and mineralized Ordovician rocks to generate drill targets. So you can see all the different areas of focus. And the Silver Spoon property adjacent to Kirken Lake, Newmont, and the North Central Auction Block. Crosby Prospect 900 meters by 300 meter footprint as in-soil anomaly has yet to systematically drill tested, has yet to be systematically drill tested. Geological mapping, prospecting, soil geochemical surveys, and ground-based geophysical surveys, magnetics, and gravity are proposed to refine drill targets. Now, we love to find these early stage companies first. These are the final phase one activities. Initiate drilling campaign, start phase one drill campaign on Glenfire, which has been achieved. Young Rune Airborne Geophysical and LIDAR surveys, also been achieved. Glenfine 2000 meter program, 2200 plus meters complete at Glenfine South, final assays pending. Young Rune drilling, drilling has commenced at Golden Jacket, 1,000 meters anticipated, soil sampling and target identification at Ballarat West, and initiate RAB drilling program at Young Rune, 300 plus whole program centered around Golden Jacket workings. Rank and prioritize, evaluate drill targets and establish phase two drill program. So these last two are yet to be, uh, based on what they've said so far, yet to be uh, set, set in place, but we are looking for them to get started hopefully soon. Based on this chart, things could change because things are happening fast and we'll definitely keep you updated on everything as it happens. All right, you can see the peer market performance and Outback Goldfields. Victoria, recent exploration has generated significant value amongst its peers. Fosterville South, which we've talked to you guys about, FSX, from IPO to 300 million market cap, gold hit 2000 plus, and Mandalay Resources Corporation, MND, you could see has really moved up and had huge success. And E79 Resource Corp, ESNR, also made a nice move. Up 200% on Discovery News with 11 million at 160 grams a ton. So you can see the potential upside, four key gold projects which have significant gold potential due to number one, world-class gold belt, 80 million ounces of gold producing district. Number two, new geological understanding and modern mining techniques. Mesozonal Bendingo style versus epizonal 
Fosterville style. Number three, home to one of the largest grade and lowest cost mines in the world, Fosterville, Kirkland Lake, and now Costerfield, Mandalay Bay. Number four, staking rush, including majors surrounding project, Newmont, Chalice, and land under auction. Number five, ongoing positive drill results, excuse me, from neighboring projects, Mandalay Bay, E79, Mawson, Fosterville South, Chalice, and Navarre. So they are in the right place at the right time. And that's why we are bringing them to, to you now. We'll just talk real quickly on the geology and mining history. In short, historically, the Victorian gold fields have been explored for mesozonal Ballarat style gold deposits. However, with the discovery of epizonal Fosterville style mineralization at the Swan Zone, Fosterville gold mine a new opportunity has emerged to explore its previously overlooked areas for Fosterville style mineralization. Swan Zone. We now understand that Fosterville style systems can develop extremely high grade, large, free gold deposits. Gold fields, the Melbourne and Eastern Bendigo zones, have almost exclusively all historic Fosterville style gold deposits. Opportunity. This has provided insight into a new search space for high-grade gold mineralization below historic near-surface gold targets. Outback Goldfields controls a large prospective tenement package in the Melbourne zone, strategically located near the Fosterville mine with documented gold occurrences. They are positioned to win big. Project highlights, a rare opportunity, underexplored 1,100 hec hec excuse me, Hector land position with first mover advantage in the world's hottest gold exploration district. Young Rune, 140 kilo ounce, kilogram ounce gold historic regional production with shallow reef production recording grades up to 250 grams a ton gold, golden jack mine. Six new high tenor arsenic in soil anomalies have been identified and warrant systematic follow-up. Area remains relatively untested by drilling. Glen Fine, outback earning up to 80% by spending 3 million subject to ROFR. Historic reef production of 44 ounce gold in the immediate area, mineralized intercepts along strike from historic developments. The Ballarat West, Five kilometers from the adjacent to Ballarat Gold Mines, 1.6 million ounces of gold reef production in major north-south trending structures that parallel the Ballarat host trend. 600 ounces of gold historic production from contained and nearby alluvial workings. Silver Spoon, 12 kilometers from Fosterville Gold Mine, 2.1 million ounces of gold at 21.8 grams a ton gold, adjacent to Goldfield's NCVG tender block. So definitely positioned for the win here. And that's all their information. If you'd like to get in contact with Outback Goldfields, you can reach them by phone number, email, and you can see their Canadian symbol on the Canadian Security Exchange under the symbol OZ in Frankfurt, Germany, under the symbol S600. And in America, on the OTCQB, under the symbol OZBKF. All right. So let's just go back. And that's on their website, guys. You can go to the website and just go into the investor section where you could get that entire presentation. And we've gone through most of the key information right now. So love to know what you guys think. Now, let's also take a look at, this is their homepage, outbackgoldfields.com. You can go and take a look at all their latest news. We went through some of that already, and you can stay in touch and sign up and learn everything about this company. You can see those four regions, which we talked about. You can see company videos, stock information, and their corporate presentation, all on the company website. Okay. And we're just going to quickly take a look at the ESG as well. So this is our approach to ESG. 
So a commitment to environmental stewardship, social considerations, and good governance. So what makes Outback Goldfields unique is a commitment to ESG. Outback Goldfields is committed to responsible exploration and development of its projects based upon our fundamental values of safety, environmental responsibility, community involvement, transparency, accountability, and integrity. We, we recognize that our goals and those of the communities in which we operate can and should be aligned to create mutual and lasting benefits. We aim to achieve these goals in an open and respectful manner with a focus on minimizing environmental impacts and maximizing benefits for all stakeholders. What are our values? First and foremost, safety, the health and safety of our employees and contractors, as well as the public is of the utmost importance and is fundamental to the operation of our business. We believe that we should all work together to achieve zero incidents in the workplace and enhance the well-being of employees, contractors, and communities. Environmental responsibility. Our aim is to manage growth while protecting the natural environment. We are committed to maintaining sound environmental practices in all of our activities in order to minimize environmental impacts and to continuously improve the efficient use of resource processes and materials. Community involvement. We actively strive to serve the community's needs and enhance prosperity and well-being of the communities within it, which we work. Our goal is to engage and collaborate with communities and stakeholders in a respectful manner to ensure lasting and sustainable mutual benefits for all. Transparency and accountability. We fulfill our commitment to an open and transparent manner. We aim to be accurate, consistent, and straightforward in communications as part of our corporate governance we ensure that accountability guides all of our actions, decisions, conduct, and reporting. Integrity and performance. Responsibility and integrity guide us in our aim to fulfill our commitments in all effective and sustainable manner. We believe that the safety of our people, our focus on environmental stewardship, and aiming to provide lasting benefits for our stakeholders is fundamental to the success of our business and performance. So this is a company that's doing all the right things. And I believe that they are very undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. As you can see here in America, they've been much higher. And right now they're really near the bottom. And in Canada also been much higher, um, over a dollar, uh, about a dollar 50 in the last year. And you can see they're currently sitting right now at 28 and a half cents. So coming off the bottom, our community started learning about this at 21 cents when it was really at the absolute bottom. Some investors are already in for the win, but I believe that this is going to go much higher. I love to know what you guys think. What do you think about Outback Goldfields Corp? Do you think it goes higher? Do you think it goes lower? We'd love to know what you guys think. Now, remember, if you like to learn about these types of picks before we do videos, before we do CEO interviews, before we go public with the videos, all over social media, you can join our club at richpicksdaily.com. Upgrade and become a VIP member where you get access to 100 hours of training and trading education. You get access to our trade ideas 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we got members winning from all over the world. So you should too. Make sure that you subscribe to Rich TV Live. Hit the bell for notifications. So every time we have big breaking news, new companies for you to know, uh, CEO interviews, company overviews, you'll get to know first. Your boy Rich from Rich to Be Live and richpigsdaily.com. And I'm out. Another gold deal to put on your watch list, put it on your radar. We think it has a chance to be a big winner.